from a movie scene to made of people in my dreams the last time if I recall was a feeling of being alone I don't know if where I'm going isn't far but in case I go no need to be stressed gotta take it another vlog. I am chilling in my living room right now. Today was a very busy day with a lot of errands and work and we just ran to Design District to grab a few things. Lao had to stop by Alo Yoga and see if they had a pair of pants that he loves but they didn't have them in the store. And then we went to Sephora because he's really up to his skincare game. I've gotten him into skincare and he loves skincare and loves like learning about ingredients and what he needs uh, for his face and just things like that. So we went in and tried to find him like a hydrating face mask without active ingredients so that he can actually use it more frequently throughout the week. And so it doesn't have like strong like exfoliants or like AHAs or BHAs and all that stuff. So we stopped by Sephora and then we came, we charged the car a little bit because she was running low on battery. And then we came back home. I'm about to feed Prince and do my nighttime skincare and shower and do all that. I don't think I've shown you guys her Christmas tree. She is a little bland and boring because she has no ornaments, but I think she's beautiful and she matched our apartment really well. We have to order her because we don't actually have our own Christmas tree because we move around so often. I guess like that's like one of the negatives of always moving from apartment to apartment. I know I'm not gonna have like my own Christmas tree until I have like a home and can like put her in storage and bring her out every season. But for now, we just ordered her off of Amazon. I think she's beautiful. <laughs> Literally it's been in the 80s and 90s and we have an ocean view so it doesn't feel like the normal Christmas that I would normally have. But she's still up. It's January, what day is it? January 6th. I feel like we're gonna keep her up until like mid to end of January and then we're gonna take her down. I just don't know where we're gonna put her. So right now she's staying up. But then we also got Prince a new dog bed. He's eating his favorite bones. And then he has that little teddy bear that we got him for Christmas as well. It's one of his Christmas presents and he's obsessed with it. But we got him a new dog bed and I'm in love with this dog bed. Look how big it is. So you can pick different sizes and we got him a size for like big dogs because Prince is so picky and he needs to have like space in his dog bed. He's not the type of dog where you can buy like a small dog bed and he'll like curl up and sleep in it. No, he needs space. He likes to sprawl out. He likes to feel like he's not on a bed, if that makes sense. So if we didn't get him the right dog bed because, and I know this from experience because we bought so many dog beds before and they all went to waste because he wouldn't use them and it would be so frustrating and we finally hit the jackpot with this one i'll try linking it down below um you can pick different shapes colors sizes we got him i think that large or extra large i'm not sure it was like the dog and the photo was like literally a doberman and i was like that's the one for our little poodle <laughs> because he is like literally he thinks he's a doberman so he needs all the space in the world and he's on his little king bed right there fit for a prince or it came. I'm going to go do my nighttime skincare. I want to show you guys a product I've been using. Okay, so I'm just going to get my hair out of my face. I'm gonna use my claw, claw clip to put it up really quickly so I can show you guys. I swear, <laughs> this is literally the biggest claw clip I've been able to find and I've been through so many and I love this one. I keep rebuying it, but I just have so much hair that it, like takes me a few tries to get it all in there because it just doesn't work for me. Okay, there we go. I think we're good. 
So I've recently been trying out this skincare brand called Banish. They're all made in California. It's vegan, cruelty free, and all natural. And I've been giving the Banish 2.0 kit a try. Banish 2.0 kit comes with this brush that is really cool. I'm gonna tell you more about it in a second. And you can either choose the vitamin C cream, which is for like combo and oily skin, my skin, or the Banish oil, which is for like dry to normal skin. And I've been using the vitamin C just because I'm more on the oily and the T-zone side and then like combo on the outside of the T-zone. So the Banish tool is really cool and unique because it's a flat surface and the bristles are 24 karat gold plated. And it helps with hyperpigmentation, acne scars, fine lines, it promotes collagen, smooths your skin, helps with texture, and overall having like healthy, fresh, glowy skin. So you're supposed to use the brush with the vitamin C cream or the Banish oil once every one to two weeks. Because the bristles are made of gold, it's naturally antibacterial, which is awesome. It comes in this cup and you pour alcohol to the fill line and it kind of helps it clean itself in a way. I let it sit for five minutes, I take it out, I let it air dry for two minutes, and then I can use it on my skin. The Banish tool naturally stimulates the repair process of your skin by pressing down with even pressure, unlike other rollers that could be round and might unevenly press down on your skin. Because the bristles are also super fine and sharp, they create less irritation. I've also had the chance to try out some of their other really cool products, like the Pumpkin Enzyme Mask, which I'll include all of the ingredients and benefits of these products on the screen somewhere over here. And their mint cleanser and then the fighter gel. I really like the mint cleanser because it's super refreshing and minty. And the pumpkin enzyme mask is really great for like overnight or a nighttime mask when you want to exfoliate. Another thing I wanted to mention is when I use this tool, I only use it at night, not during the day. Um, because it lets your skin kind of repair throughout the night without being exposed to the sun. Um, so make sure to only use this at night because it's stronger for your skin and really lets that skincare like penetrate deep down under like that top layer of skin that you have. All of the products that I just mentioned are gonna be linked down in the description box for you guys, like always, as well as a $5 off coupon code. So if you're interested in trying out Banish, definitely check them out. It'll be linked down below. Skincare is something that takes like consistency. You can't see effects overnight, but with consistent use, you can usually see if a product works really great for you or not. So I'm really, really excited. I've liked the results so far. I'm about to hop in the shower and I have self tanner on so, and I smell it on me. So I need to like wash it off right now. And then I'm going to hop on my couch, watch some Netflix, do laptop work and make a meal. I don't know what I'm craving. humid this morning but I wanted to just enjoy my cup of coffee really quickly before I have to head out I have a quick appointment this morning I'm gonna come back and my goal is to finish my 2022 mood board so I'm gonna do that with you guys oh I want to hang the YouTube award I'm gonna hang out in the office that's goal number two then I'm gonna get ready and meet with a friend we're getting coffee um, I think a design district, I'm not too sure, but I believe that's where we're gonna meet. And then hang out for the rest of the day. Lau left this morning to go to Tampa for work. He should be back this weekend. He's only gonna be gone for like one or two days. So I kind of have like some chill time to hang out with my friends and do whatever. 
um, spend some more time with Prince, take him to the park, which we usually do, but Val and I will often rotate because it's so time consuming taking him to play for like an hour every day. So we'll rotate and we oftentimes go together too because we spend quality time like that, but um, now that Prince is under my full responsibility, I have to go do that. So I'm gonna do that, which I really do enjoy, taking him on long walks or taking him to the park, whatever. So that's kind of the agenda for this weekend. Um, tomorrow I have my tennis lessons rezzo. If you guys have been following me, you know that Lon and I have been taking tennis super seriously. <laughs> and we've been taking tennis lessons. I feel like now that we live in Miami, it's like tennis is like thing to do. So lyle has been on this like goal for 2022 to learn how to play tennis actually really good. And we're very basic at it so far. And like, I would say I'm worse. My form, I cannot get it. I understand the concepts. We took our first lesson and I understand what my form should be and how I should be playing and all that. But actually doing it quickly and transitioning while playing a game is still challenging for me. I'm not the biggest sports person. I love working out, but my idea of working out is like yoga, Pilates, biking, walking, running, not playing tennis. So I've really been enjoying it, but I want to get better because it's fun when you're actually good um, and you can play with people. I'm about to make Prince his breakfast and then I'm going to quickly eat. I made some overnight oats last night, so I'm going to have that. They look really good, so I'm excited about that. Well, they actually don't look that cute, but they're good. I have oats with chia seeds, vanilla and sweetened almond milk, cinnamon, vanilla extract, and some coconut sugar. And then I'm making Prince his food, which is his farmer's dog with a little bit, I think it's chicken. Chicken farmer's dog today with, this is some of his leftovers last night that he did not finish, I think it was too full. Um, with a little bit of rice and then I boil like regular chicken breast for him and I kind of mix it in there to spice it up because he is the pickiest dog when it comes to eating. If he's not excited about his food, he just won't eat. He'll starve for like several days. It's the worst thing ever. I've never met a dog like that. Actually, really, really good. Like, really good. I'm shocked. Mm hmm. I love overnight oats, but I usually buy them. And I know they're so easy to make, but every time I've tried to make them, I think I've only tried like once or twice. But every time I try, they never turn out good. Or well, they're just like too bland and not sweet enough. And like, I want to keep it healthy and not like sweeten them too much, but they still need to have like a hint of sweetness. Otherwise, they taste like crap in my opinion, so these are like the perfect amount of sweetness. Thank you for calling the United States Postal Service Customer Care Center. Para continuar en español, oprima una. Fixing delivery issues, press three. For severe weather or- Okay, I'm trying to figure out where I want to put this award in office. I kind of want it over here. Hello? I'm so fucking pissed. Fucking what? Oh my god, you're like home keys? <laughs> yeah, to my apartment. So I couldn't get inside. So now it's so funny because I actually love doing like handiwork. I used to always like build my own furniture when I would order and shit like that. But when it comes to like actually perfecting things like this, I don't care about it. So I literally eyeball all the measurements, which is kind of stupid but it is what it is. So, I feel like, right. Oh my God, it worked. It worked. <laughs> 
Wait, this is epic. I actually did this right and it looks like it's on straight. Well, actually, no. <laughs> I feel like this side is a little bit higher, but whatever it like from far away It looks straight enough. So it's good enough for me. I literally just eyeballed that that's kind of how I do all like Furniture assembling nailing stuff to the wall, whatever I just eyeball it and then I have to redo it usually because it's fucking crooked But we got this on the first try So I'm really happy because I have holes in the wall, so I can't hide that but this is what it looks like this is like so inspiring and motivating to me because when I work on my laptop, I have this just staring at me and I'm like, all right, girl, we need to add another zero on here, another zero. So that's that, I'm about to go get ready. I was trying to work on my mood board, but for some reason my Wi-Fi is glitching right now and it never does that and I can't figure out what's going on. So I feel like I'm just going to get ready first and then try to hop on my laptop and see if my Wi-Fi is better, but if not, I will do this later tonight when I get home. Yeah, I'm so bummed. I really wanted to work on it right now because I had a few minutes to do that, but whatever. I actually want to bring my makeup and do it here in the living room because I want to watch TV and get ready really quickly. And uh, I've done my makeup here once before and I really enjoyed it because I'm like just sit on the floor by my couch and watch the TV. <laughs> so much yes <laughs> look at you you're the cutest dog ever i love you and then the sunset right now is actually so pretty but i'm about to take him out to play for a good long time and then i'm gonna get ready for dinner but i have to show you guys the sunset it's so pretty because the other ones were just so uncomfortable. Like, I don't know if it's because I walked around today, but my feet were not having it. The ladies are out a little too much, all right, yeah, a little too much. 
shall we cheers? I'm not a fan of what? I just post, sorry. Okay, you post. I'm not a big fan of um, vodka, but for some reason this caught my eye on the menu. And I also haven't been drinking. I'm so good with not drinking. Like, yeah, you I, are. You are. I, alcohol doesn't excite me at all. Unless I'm like in a social setting. Yeah. Still, I'll like order coffee or whatever, but this looks good. This Shall we try? Them. They're actually my favorite too. Moscow Mules. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Good, right? They just like wake me up. Yeah, it tastes like there's no alcohol. It's the ginger. Hi. Hi. I like you talking in the vlog. I'm gonna like this. It's a good mixture though, because if you're somewhere where it's loud, then you can't see me. Where there's nothing to say. Yeah. I'm like, just look at it. Yeah. But like this, we're gonna have to chat.